All right, I am in front of the Portola place and there's some people waiting, so I'm gonna to try to be a little quicker, but uh, it's in a nice little nook here. You've got a private park and the pool literally right across the street. So the yard here is kind of small, but it's great that there's all this green space right across the way. It's a big park. And all the houses here are well kept. It's pretty quiet too. Um, but here's the house. The exterior looks like it's in great shape. It looks like it's just been painted. Uh, the roof looks like it's pretty new. Walking into the house here, there is, again, a little covered patio here. And when we walk in, um, there's kind of two living spaces back to back. So you walk into this, I guess you'd set this up like a formal living space, but this room is about 15 by 15 feet. And there's an opening there to, uh, I guess what would be more of like a, a more casual living room. We've got a little gas fireplace in the corner. Um, a couple little things I noticed. Looks like they tried to do some touch-up paint on the wall. I don't know if it comes through in the video, but it doesn't exactly match. Um, and so it's a little off there. And the flooring is in good shape, but it's dated. I mean, it's been worn. Um, the entryway is a little dated, and there's a couple, like, uh, pock marks in there in the carpet. Um, it's just, it's been, it's not in... It's not been abused, it's just been used. It's not new, it's, it's been here for a bit. And then same thing in the kitchen, just sent some dated linoleum. Um, but the kitchen and dining area are big. Got just a basic laminated countertop, uh, original cabinets, but everything's in good physical shape and certainly useful, usable. Um, you've got a pantry here in the corner. Good size pantry, about six by six feet. And then a little powder room here right next to the kitchen as well. So just for your reference, um, you got your powder room. Uh, my back is in the kitchen right now. Your living room, dining area, backyard, which I'll come to in just a second, and your kitchen. Plenty of counter space in here. It's a good size kitchen for sure. Uh, and then entrance to the garage is right here. So you've got two car garage. It's a little extra deep which is nice, so there's some extra storage back here, room for shelving, obviously lots of storage, you're getting ready to move, and then you've got a gas water heater and furnace here. Uh, the water heater says it was installed in 2019. I don't see a sticker on the furnace, it might be original, um, but it looks like it's in good physical shape. Um, obviously not an HVAC guy, so. Uh, heading to the backyard now. So you've got about a 10 by 20 foot patio here and pretty tight backyard, but there's a little bit of grass here, enough room to come out and throw a baseball or something if you wanted to do that. And then on the side over here, you've got a little kind of raised garden bed and your air conditioner is back there, which I'm guessing it's it might be an original air conditioner too. Uh, again, it looks like it's in good physical shape, but it's not terribly helpful. <laughs> And then we'll go peek over at the other side here real quick. Yeah, nothing terribly exciting. Just a, a little bit of grass and a gate to the front yard. And heading back in, we'll go upstairs. All the bedrooms. And there's two bathrooms and a laundry room upstairs. So, um, again, just for your reference, you've got living room. And front door is right here, and your stairs are right here. So, heading up the stairs uh, to the left at the top of the stairs is the master, and it's a good size master. This is a king bed, there's plenty of space in here. It's probably 18 by 15 feet, something like that. And you've got a good size master bedroom and or bathroom and closet, too. You've got uh, Double vanity here, six foot vanity. Um, this roll linoleum flooring, it's the same stuff as downstairs. Uh, soaker tub. Um, there's a separate shower back there. And then you've got a pretty good sized closet, probably 10 by six feet. Uh, a little room here for the stool. And then your separate uh, shower right here, which is three by four feet. So the, the master bath is huge. Lots of space in here. Um, heading up over here, uh, so for reference again, stairs to my right, and then up here I've got laundry to the left, bedroom, 
hall bath, and then two bedrooms over in this other corner. So we'll take a quick look here. Uh, good sized laundry room. It's about 10 by six feet. Some storage up above. This little window overlooks the backyard. And then the bedroom right next door is just a standard bedroom. It's about 12 by 12 feet. Closet on that end. And you've got your hall bath right next door. So there's a little nook underneath your vanity here for a laundry or something like that. And a single, single sink, fiberglass shower surround, and then the same roll linoleum flooring. This room is probably 12 by five. Uh, and then you've got your two bedrooms over here in this corner. So uh, twin bed, just kind of for size reference. Got a massive lizard there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and then a, uh, a closet. And then this last bedroom. Uh, it's kind of a mirror image of that one. Size wise anyway. It's probably 10 by 10 feet. Uh, twin size bed. A little closet over in that corner. But uh, I mean the house is it's totally clean. It's rent ready. I mean at some point I would probably think about updating the flooring. But I think that you've probably got a little bit of life left in what's here. So it's a, it's a pretty good one. There you go.